So in today's video, I'm going to talk about my favorite watering tools. And hopefully some of these are things that you haven't seen before or have never uh, thought of using in the garden. And hopefully it'll make your watering chores a little bit faster and easier. Uh, my name is Amy and over at prettypurpledoor.com, I help home gardeners create landscapes that are uniquely you. So make sure that you stick around till the end of this video because I'm going to be showing you my favorite free hack that you can use to make watering easier for you too. My first tool in the garden is this shut off valve. This saves me so much headache because if I didn't have it, my water would be going everywhere. It just makes life a lot easier. It's one of those things that I didn't have for quite a while. And then once I got it, I was like, why did I wait so long to get this thing? So um, the other reason I'm showing this first is because if you want to take advantage of my next super cool tip, you're going to need one of these. So if your hose doesn't have this, grab one of these brass uh, connectors and then you can use these which are this is called a quick connect tool it's a hose connector the one that i have let me see i have the name written down here it's a weird name hqmpc is the brand it's um it's totally an Amazon brand. Uh, lots of different companies make these and you're welcome to, to do your research. But these HQ MPC ones, they're great. Um, I've had them for two years now and nothing is broken. I've ordered multiples of them. So what is a quick connect? So basically one side of this, let me just push it. It's supposed to quickly disconnect, right? It's much easier when it's actually hooked to pieces of your hose. So one piece goes on your actual hose. The other piece goes on to your watering tools, like your wand or your spray nozzle or whatever. And what this lets you do is quickly disconnect one tool for another tool. So let me just show you on my hose here. So if your hose has one of these valves, this can screw right into the hose or it can screw into this uh, shut off valve. So I'm just going to twist it on just like any hose that you would put on, you do that. And then you can buy these separately or you can buy the set like this piece and this piece or you can buy a bunch of these and just one of these. And this piece will go right onto your nozzles. So here's one on this nozzle here, just so you can see it's the same exact piece that I just had in my hand. So this screws in, right? Screwing it in. Okay. Now, all you have to do when you want to use this particular nozzle with this particular hose is pull down with your two fingers. I'm just using my two fingers and I'm pulling this down like so. And then you stick it in and you let go and it connects. Then all you have to do is unlock your connector and you have water. So, okay, so say I'm watering and then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I really wish I could use my, my watering wand right now or another tool. All you have to do, pull it off, comes right out. <laughs> and, oh, here's, here's another one, click it. I have like the piece stuck, hang on. You see this little thing, it's getting stuck on me. Normally it's super fast and I'd be super slick about this, but I'm not. So you stick this in and then have a new hose connector. So let's go back to the other one real quickly. I pull with two fingers, pull this off, drop to the ground, put this one back in and we're off to the races. Really fast, right? And these haven't leaked or anything. I had to put in new little ring thingies in the beginning of the season, but other than that, totally great and it makes my watering jobs super easy. So to this guy, back to my wand here. This is the next one I wanna talk about. This is a watering wand. And um, this particular one that I have is by Dram. And they have this 16 inch watering wand. They also have a 30 inch watering wand. And what I like about the wands versus um, just the spray nozzle, you're just not supposed to just spray your plants like and just go crazy spraying everything like that. You should 
technically be watering the base, the roots of the plant. So the watering one lets me do this without actually having to bend over. I can just quickly reach down, see, and water right at the base of a plant versus having to use the nozzle and then bend down and do it that way. So if you're having trouble with powdery mildew or you simply just don't want to get the leaves of your plant wet and you want to get right to the base, uh, watering lawn is a super cool tool that will help you do that really easy. Combine that with your quick connect and you're good to go just like that. So another interesting watering tool that I have in my arsenal, it's called a tree watering bag. This is a tree gator. Typically watering trees slowly is preferred versus just spraying it with the hose. Um, slow releasing the water helps the tree to establish much stronger and deeper roots. So when you use a tree watering bag, you can fill this entire bag with water. And then at the bottom, I don't know if I can actually show you any, but I swear that they're there. There's little tiny holes in here that will slow drip the water into the tree. All you have to do is take this tree gator and then you can zip it like so. And it's just like a coat zipper, which apparently I'm also finding challenging today. And you zip it up. Now this is a fairly small tree, so that works. But if you have a larger tree, you can actually use two of these and zip them together and make like a super wide tree gator. And then all you have to do is take your hose and you fill it up through here. And then you just stand here and act cool for the camera while this is filling the whole way. I think you get the picture. I'd say it takes anywhere from like four to six days, almost a week. I fill it once a week in the summer and it keeps my trees healthy and I don't have to really think about it. I just fill them once a week and then my trees are good and I know that they're getting established and they're gonna be really happy, super fun, beautiful, healthy trees. Another tool that I love is this hose retractor by Suncast. Now I've had this for eight years. I don't even know. I'm gonna try to find it for you guys, the exact model that I have. Basically, it's just an auto rewind hose retractor and it's water powered, not electric or anything like that. So what it does is it takes the power from the, the water that's in the hose and uses that to retract the hose into this reel. This green hose here that you see, this is where the water will like spit out of the hose as it's being reeled in. So you can make this as long or as short as you want. Uh, you know, throw it over into your neighbor's yard so all the water dumps into their yard. No, don't do that. And then what else you would need? Typically, if you have a spigot, all you need to do is just get one of these lead-in hoses, these really short ones, hook it up to the spigot, and then hook this piece into the back part. So right now I just have an extension hose running to here and uh, it's powering that way. So once I wanna reel in this hose, all I have to do is pull this lever and it starts pulling in. And then I just like to guide it a little bit. I mean, I don't have to do that much work, but I guide it in so it doesn't get tangled. And I can just stand here while my hose is reeling right in. And you can see here, the water's coming out of this, this hose here. So make sure you put that in a good spot. These can be mounted too, which is cool. Um, I just got the shed built so it's not mounted on here yet, but soon I'll be mounting it. And then once you get to the end and you want to stop it, they give you this like little collar here so you don't go too far, this thing here, and you just pull it to stop it. And then when you want to take it back out, you have to manually pull it, but it's on a track so it's not too bad. And if it's mounted, it's way easier. You don't have to hold on to it like I am right now. Okay, we're at the very last watering tool and then I'm gonna show you my really super handy trick for watering. And another simple one to end the day with is a rain gauge. And 
excuse how ridiculously messed up mine is uh, these are really cheap i think i get this on amazon for like four dollars and all you do is it has this spot here you shove it in the ground and it'll measure the rain for you so the reasoning behind a rain gauge you can stick it in here is it'll tell you how much rain that you've gotten and based on that you can supplement your garden with the rest of the water that it needs so typically they say that you should be watering your plants like one it should get one inch of water per week so if you have your rain gauge and every sunday you dump it out and start it fresh by the next sunday you'll know if you got an inch of rain or not so if you got an inch of rain no water needed so mother nature did its job for you if you didn't get an inch of rain you'll know that you need to supplement your garden this is where my super handy trick comes in. How do you know how much one half inch of water is? That doesn't really calculate in any way. And everybody has different hoses and different nozzles and different watering cans that they use. So, you know, it depends on what you're using, how much time you need to spend watering a plant. But I do have a trick. This is my trick. It's a Frisky's cat food can. <laughs> And you could see in the window, let me just tip this up. Betsy, that's my cat Betsy, he's in the window. What you have to do is just put this on the ground next to the plant that you're about to water and then water that area like you normally would and time it. So this is about an inch deep. Once this is filled, that's how you know how long one inch of watering takes. Does that make sense? Let me show you. I'm gonna put it right here and then I'm gonna fake water these dying hostas here <laughs> just to show you so you set it down right here can you see that in the camera okay and i'm just gonna do to do like typically you wouldn't water right like this and fill it up in three seconds that's not really what i mean do like you normally do and just water like the group of plants here but just include the watering cup in that process and really all you have to do at that point is count like time it so mine's about full now i mean i don't know how long was that do you think 15 seconds 20 seconds so now you'll know okay an inch of water with this particular nozzle and if sometimes you water with your can do it again with your can and then just you'll have an idea of how much you need to water so you don't overwater your plants and with the rain gauge, you won't water them when you don't have to. That's all I got for you today. If you have a rain gauge that actually works, that you don't have to replace every year, because every year this cracks on me and I just buy a new one because they're so cheap. So if you have a really good rain gauge that holds up over winter, let me know in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe to my channel for more awesome gardening tips.